This is a GCS News Break. More than 500 people arrive at First Baptist Church in Greensboro for Building Bright Futures, the education summit sponsored by Guilford Education Alliance. This year's event is back and in person for the first time in three years. To kick things off, One Accord, a talented group featuring two GCS grads, gave an inspired performance of Firework. They skyrocketed to fame after appearing on the TV show America's Got Talent last fall. GCS Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras was presented with the Margaret Bordeaux Arbuckle Award for 2022. But before she left the stage, Dr. Contreras had a surprise in store for Guilford Education Alliance. I would like to donate, make a personal donation of $50,000. What? Talk then turned to the school bond as GEA board member Joe Blosser interviewed Contreras and C.C. Lambert, the owner of C2 Contractors of Greensboro. Both answered questions about what's happening with 2020 school bond funds, as well as what could happen with the 2022 bond if it's passed this May. Our hope is that people feel inspired and that they feel a part of this because it is a community endeavor. So many people in the community are involved in supporting our students and our teachers and our schools. And we want them to know that getting out and voting for the bond is this incredible, tangible thing that we can do to invest in teachers and students and to really drive our economy. This has been a GCS News Break. <laughs>